So work math is, if it's virtuous, it's free. That's how this works. Yeah. They just ignore the actual cost behind it all. Now, look, you wrote that the hallmark of international and national agencies is atrophy, that they are very difficult to kill off once they install themselves. Now, is there any point to the OECD existing, apart from all these mindless reports they seem to spew out every year? And I'm going to extend that to the IPCC, because I can't see any reason for them to exist either. Well, the IPCC would need a bomb under it, and it, that would take uh, a Trump victory or a Ramaswamy victory to pave the way. But if that happens uh, in next year uh, in the election, then I think that there will be some serious moves to actually start getting rid of some of these agencies. And and I guess the same, same would happen to the OECD, though the focus of attention hasn't been as strongly on that. Very, very difficult to get rid of them. I think uh, I, may, I mentioned in the article that the League of Nations, which has clearly failed by the mid-30s, lived on until 1946. Uh, so, and it, and it took a world war and a massive, massive cataclysm like that to actually kill it off. They, these things just go on. I mean, the, one of the the the, the, uh, uh, the International Energy Agency was started in in 1974 with the oil crisis. Then it was a, a counter to the uh, OPEC. Etc. Well, it's just become a, 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 a agit prop for renewable energy now, and uh, everything they say is full of that. And they they they're the kind of energy arm of the OECD. So it would be terrific to just just to get rid of them. But the uh, it, it does take a cataclysmic change in the political structure uh, 